My name is Charlie Freeberg. I'm the Vice Chancellor for Workforce Development and Technical Education here at BRCC. And we're physically located at the Acadian site, which is at the corner of North Acadian Boulevard and Winborn Avenue in North Baton Rouge. And I will use the words of Dennis Michaelis. He says, we are called a community college for a reason. Each of our sites are located strategically because we're here to serve the community where we operate. The Acadian site is a phenomenal facility, aged a little bit, but it is phenomenal. We have approximately 100,000 square feet of instructional space, and within that are four very large shops. Machine tool shop, which has a significant number of lathes, drill presses, and CNC machines. We have a very large welding shop that has approximately 49 welding booths in it. And then we have the old automotive shops, which we are in the process of repurposing. We also offer a technical diploma in culinary. We have drafting and design. We have care and development of young children. Also, we have the graphic arts diploma program available here. Then there are general education courses that are being offered at this site as well as a significant area that is dedicated to adult basic education. At the Acadian site, the work that our facilities crew have done, particularly Donald and Steve, uh, have taken upon themselves to start renovating the entire campus. We're making sure that the entire facility is kept very neat and clean, starting to paint, even go through and renovate some of the restrooms some of the common areas, and if you uh, have the chance to come by Acadian, we want to share with you the hard work that has been done by the staff here that we're very proud of. We're a very old building. I think this there are parts of this building that are well over 50 years old, but we're gonna keep it clean, we're gonna keep it neat, we're gonna keep our programs relevant to what the communities need, and we're going to enjoy educating our students and enjoy the community in participating in our site. My name is Tammy Brown and I am the site administrator here at BRCC Plaquemine. The Emberville Parish School System owned this land that we are on. They actually donated this land for the building of this facility. Dow is located less than five minutes from here. They're our biggest sponsor. They actually donate a million dollars for the building. So this facility is truly a community college in that business and industry partnerships and education partnerships came together. We have technical diplomas in medical assistant and the LPN program. We've got some gen eds that we're offering. We do have dual enrollment right now with the Plaquemine High School and the surrounding high schools. And then we have our, our craft training programs. And we offer those in the evenings and we have pipe fitting, electrical, instrumentation, millwright, and welding. We do open our doors to the community through the Chamber of Commerce here. Businesses come and use some of our rooms for conferences, doing some community events in this area to number one, utilize this beautiful facility, but also to bring awareness of all the programs that we have to offer here. Uh, we're really proud of this facility and we're excited about the future for expansion as well. I'm Johnny Arsenault, the site administrator for BRCC Jackson. When we, we talk about the service area of the Jackson site, it's the Feliciana region. The Jackson site is located on Highway 10 next to the East Feliciana High School. We provide health care classes in the field of nurse assistant and medical assistant. We provide technical craft classes with welding. We also provide a fast track machinist class. We also offer millwright level one training and pipe fitting level one training. Our role is to be a one stop service. If someone comes to us and they want to get an associate degree and they need to go to Mid City, we want to help them with their financial aid. We want to connect them with the student services people that they need to connect with so that we are doing the warm handoffs. Hurricane Gustav caused considerable damage here at the Jackson site. Uh, 
from the time of the hurricane until one year ago, we were working under those conditions. We had wallpaper that had been removed. And we had stripped sheetrock. We had some walls that only had half walls. The sheetrock had been removed from the floor up to four foot. Fortunately, we were able to do the renovations and eight months ago, we moved back into the site. What we're doing is preparing for the future. We're creating the foundation where we can serve our high schools. We're also creating a foundation where we can be a rapid response team to meet the needs of the local industry. I am Amanda Stanley. I am the site administrator for BRCC New Roads. BRCC New Roads is located in Point Capi Parish. We are a rural parish of about 27,000 residents. We focus here on our technical diploma in welding, as well as our certificate of medical assistant. In the evenings for our workforce education programs, we focus on the NCCER electrical program, as well as the Praxair skills pipeline welding program. In this parish, the community really just wants access. They want access to the programs that BRCC has. They want information about what can be offered. We have local banks, we have local um, energy industry, um, we have our local chamber of commerce. They're all very interested in seeing the site and the students succeed. We have a lot of areas that can be retrofitted to accommodate new classes, new programs, and new technology. In a smaller community, I live here. I live in this parish. My kids go to school in this parish. So it's not just that they know us as staff members of BRCC. They just know us as, hey, I'm gonna see you in Walmart and we're gonna have a little talk about, you know, whatever it is that's on my mind. I haven't worked anywhere else where I have that direct of an impact on people in our community. My name is Kay McDaniel, and I am the interim site administrator for BRCC Port Allen. Uh, we are located just minutes off of Interstate 10, which makes us great for not just the Port Allen community, but Baton Rouge and other areas. Some of our programs serve students from all over the state of Louisiana. Uh, we are situated on several acres, which makes us a great location to teach heavy equipment. We have bulldozers and excavators and uh, all kinds of equipment. We can teach that here where we can at other campuses. At the Port Allen site, we have pharmacy tech and we have a classroom and a lab that's set up so the students can be trained to work as, as pharmacy technicians. Uh, we also have a non-destructive testing lab where our students are trained in non-destructive testing and it leads toward a certification. We also have a welding lab. We have the heavy equipment that's located in the back of the campus. We have pipe fitting, diesel engine, and we teach those classes day and night and even have some classes on the weekend. BRCC Port Allen partners with DEQ, the Department of Environmental Quality, and we have the Motor Vehicle Inspection Challenge Station. If you take your car in to get it inspected and it fails inspection, you will bring your car here. They will refer you to the Port Allen site and you bring your car here, they will do some diagnostics on your car and determine what the problem is with your car. In addition, we offer classes every month to train inspection workers. So the people who inspect your car were trained at this site. Well, I've worked for many, many years in technical education and I've seen how life-changing it can be for our students. And they can come and invest a couple years or less and leave with a high wage, high demand job and that's life changing and it's a small investment of time and a small investment of money. Welcome to Baton Rouge Community College's central site. I'm Brandi Tyson. I'm the central site administrator as well as the administrator for the process technology department. We offer various different degree programs, one of which is the Associate of Applied Science and Process Technology where we train students to be process operators in various petrochemical plants. And we also offer an Associate of Applied Science in Helicopter Pilot Operations and a Certificate of Technical Studies in Helicopter Flight Instructor. We also offer an Associate of Applied Science in Aviation Maintenance Technology and Certificate of Technical Studies in Airframe and Power Plant. So you'll see right behind me is our 40-foot glycol unit. We've been able to incorporate it into the process technology curriculum over the last two semesters. Here you get the hands-on, so you walk through here and there are things that you can touch. So you see the unit, you see the motors, you see the pumps, and then if you go to the back of the warehouse, you've got actual airplanes and helicopters and motors. So those are the types of things that spark students' attention. They get their attention and grasp it, keeps it. 
Well, the community is very welcoming. Um, we've had neighbors from across the street just stop by to say hello. We noticed that you guys are back in session. They'll just want to make sure everything is okay. So we've um, been fully welcomed here and um, everything's been very positive. The opportunity for BRCC to serve the six parish area that we are, are located uh, really provides a chance for the community to be able to touch higher education at multiple locations without having to travel 20 or 30 miles one way. We can begin the conversation and we can begin the process of allowing our community to participate in higher education needs with those various sites. It's no doubt that one of the most pleasurable events that I've been to in the last year and a half plus that I've been with Baton Rouge Community College have been several graduations, whether it's a welding, instrumentation, electrical. The pride is just incredible. The meaningfulness of what it means to the students that have achieved this credential and this skill set so that they can become part of the workplace, there's no doubt that these are game changers for our students and for our community. And to be part of that is just so, so rewarding. And, and I'm just blessed to be part of that.